So, have you decided? We'll see. What's this? Open it. Interesting. Rumor has it that Doctor Strange 2 is set to give us the debut of Wolverine in the MCU. But it's not Hugh Jackman who will play the part. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Charles Xavier, go f yourself. So, who is going to be the beloved angry Claude mutant? Who is bold enough to take on the huge responsibility of playing Wolverine? Hey, it's me! Don't scratch! Well, let's look at a few names, shall we? What is up, my fellow quirky people? Ever since the Doctor Strange 2 trailer, we've all been caught up in the madness of what this multiverse movie would have in store for us. Things just got out of hand. We've already given you a legit plot leak that could be the real deal. We should tell him the truth. And we've also talked about the new cameos and all the old returning characters that should be in the film. But we haven't addressed the latest Wolverine rumor for Doctor Strange 2 properly. I mean, who should be the new Logan if he is supposed to show up in the Multiverse of Madness? Over the years, we've come across plenty of names as a part of the speculation. And before moving forward, I'm gonna deny a few of those. It was quite funny seeing fans campaign for Danny DeVito to be Wolverine. Ooh, that's a lot of stairs. But that obviously won't happen. Daniel Radcliffe looks stunning in Wolverine concept arts, but it's unlikely for him to get the part. Keanu Reeves has shown interest and he can arguably play the role right now. But he is 57, and Marvel may need a Wolverine for the next whole decade. Jason Momoa wants to play Wolverine, but he is already Aquaman. He is too big of a personality and is also super busy with DC, Fast 10, and Apple TV's C. And there's Tom Hardy, who is also perfect, but he is already Venom and he's 44. Maybe he is a little older as well, considering the long-term plan Marvel might have. Denying some of these actors actually doesn't seem right, as I would have loved either of Reeves, Hardy, or Momoa. You're making me beat up grass! But looking at things more realistically, there are a few parameters that a Wolverine candidate needs to fulfill. First, the actor should be young enough to carry the role for at least a decade. He should have the physical presence and acting ability to showcase a lot of anger. And it would be great if he isn't a top build star, as Marvel would be able to start with a lower salary cap and then increase it later. Keeping all this in mind, here are our top 8 choices. Number 1. Taron Egerton The Kingsman and Rocketman actor could prove to be perfect for the gig. He has the perfect height and physique for Logan. Hugh Jackman has already approved his casting in the past. Any better? It's not better. It's crap and he hasn't been bagged for any other major comic book role yet. So he is totally up for grabs. More difficult than I expected. Good. That's it, that's it, good. Choice number two, Anthony Starr. He plays Homelander on The Boys, and that might prevent his casting as Wolverine. But those of you who have seen his other hit series, Banshee, would definitely agree that he has what it takes to be Wolverine. Despite Homelander being a top gig for him, he still hasn't reached that A-list stardom yet. Right, everyone just calm down, calm down. So Marvel can actually sign him up for a lower salary cap compared to Egerton, who is a movie star already. Although he is 46 years old, so that might not go in his favor. I'm sorry. I don't want your f***ing apology. Another actor who would be great is Scott Eastwood. So far, he has only got to play smaller supporting roles in movies like Suicide Squad and The Fate of the Furious. But I'd say that he is ready for the big leagues. He is bulky and isn't among the tallest actors. What's it gonna be, Rook? You're gonna close your eyes on this one too? Pray that the apocalypse doesn't come knocking on your mama's front door. So that makes him a perfect candidate to be Wolverine like Tom Hardy or Egerton. The only important aspect he needs to prove himself in is his acting capability. That's a good question, Roman. Let me show you. 
but I'm sure that he would have definitely auditioned for Wolverine if Marvel has begun casting already. So let's see if he gets the part. Another actor in the same category is Luke Hemsworth. Here's the older Hemsworth brother, who still hasn't found immense stardom in Hollywood. We've seen him in HBO's Westworld. Being bulky and just about 5 feet 7 inches tall, he's got the perfect body to play a comic accurate Wolverine. Like his younger brother, he also has what it takes to be a big movie star and Wolverine could provide him his A-lister ticket. In fact, I've got the perfect idea for all Hemsworth brothers. While Chris continues as the God of Thunder and Luke becomes Wolverine, we could have Liam Hemsworth as Cyclops. It would be perfect. But if you don't think so, then I've got a few other ideas for you. Number 5 is Luke Evans. He is another underrated actor who has the looks to take on a beast role. You may have seen him in Dracula, Fast 6, The Hobbit 2, and several other projects. I personally fancied him for Namor the Submariner for quite a while, until Tenno Huerta bagged that role. So maybe he could be a good choice for Wolverine instead. Number 6 is Charlie Hunnam. Here's another actor who is one good role away from absolute stardom. You've seen him in Sons of Anarchy, but after that, his roles in Pacific Rim and King Arthur did not turn out to be as big. Although, he was great in 2019's The Gentleman. People have fan cast him as the Green Arrow for DC, but nothing has come out of it yet. I feel that he could be a really cool Wolverine. I mean, look at this. Now I'm going to present the biggest name on this list, and that is of Henry Cavill. Even though Warner Bros. fails to utilize his true potential, he is my Superman. Everyone loves him as the Witcher. He is also Sherlock Holmes, and he's actually interested in playing Captain Britain in the MCU. But if that cannot happen, then his casting as Wolverine would be a dream come true. We've already seen that he can be the physical, angry, violent type with the Witcher and MI6. And he has the perfect hairy body to be Wolverine too. So I humbly ask you, why not Henry Cavill? Isn't he the best? If you still don't agree with me, then my final choice is Zac Efron. We all know him since his high school musical days. And we also know that he is yet to get a perfect superhero role that will change his fortunes. He's got the perfect height and body to be our favorite Claude mutant. Maybe this is the role where he'd prove his mettle to everyone in the industry. What do you guys think about these actors? Which of them is your choice? Let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.